Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to be unboxing a brand new CNC by Axis Create. You can see down there, I have their 6060 machine. I'm gonna be giving that away. I'm gonna give that away to actually my neighbor who does woodworking. His name is uh, Poulton Projects. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to his channel. He's gonna be using that for doing projects. But this video is going to be an unboxing and we're gonna check out the brand new 3030 machine. The cool thing about this is, evidently, according to what I've read, it is literally pull it out of the box and it's good to go. There's no setup. There's nothing to be done. It's basically plug it in and it's ready to go. I'm going to test that theory. I'm going to see what uh, what happens. They're also sending me another machine coming very soon that we're going to be doing a video on. So we've got a bunch of partnerships coming up with Access Create. But with that being said, let's go ahead and just do a really quick. We're going to do it on camera and uh, see what it is. So hopefully we'll just pull this thing out and it'll be ready to go. We're going to hook it up to easel, plug it in, turn it on, see if it works and uh, go from there. Xs Create stickers, 30 by 30. This actually has a big motor. Let me actually show you the camera real quick. I'm gonna bring that over here and show you how this thing is already packed in. And uh, it's already put together. Look at this. This is already put together. You're just taking these little foam pieces out just one at a time. And uh, it's pretty awesome. And it comes with this 750 watt spindle you're not using a little tiny baby spindle this thing actually has a good size spindle on it which is amazing look at this just comes already put together which is super awesome here is the clamps this is going to be software and a couple wires we're not going to be using the software but you would want to install the software or the drivers that way you're good to go with that um, look at that it also has some also some extra brushes for your spindle remove this this piece of foam all right there's the controller box right here and uh man it's already built ready to rock and roll all right we're going to go ahead and push this all out of the way do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is <laughs> let me bring you closer to the machine and show you what you do need to plug in. All right, so here's your wires. You're ready to go. Everything is labeled for you. Y limit, Y axis will be this one, and your X axis will be this one. Here. Plug in the spindle right now. Plug in your Z axis. We'll go ahead and plug this in right here. This has two ports. I'm wondering if you can plug this into a dust shoe and this is kind of like a relay already because this is going to be for your spindle and it has one more onto it, which would be pretty awesome if that is for a vacuum cleaner or something like that. Can't think what I'm trying to say. And now what we're going to do is undo this. And literally this took me five minutes. You don't even have to have a computer because it has a controller. So technically you can just bring your G code directly over to the box and cut and you should be good to go. I don't know if this came with the Z probe or not. We're going to check some of that foam. So it was in the bottom of the box and uh, this is the Z probe and that connects to right here. This is for the Z probe. So right there and we are ready to rock and roll. That was way too easy. All right, guys, for the first time, like you could see right here, this is the e-stop and it is depressed in. So what we're going to do is unpress that and you're going to see this. But here, watch this. This is in Chinese already. So and the funny thing is I'm in America and I can't see what I'm reading. Uh, I guess when they shipped it out, they left it in Chinese. They didn't switch it over to English, but that's a pretty easy fix. I'm going to show you how to do that if that happens to you. Uh, so go ahead and hit the e-stop and then you're going to use this little controller and come down to the third one right there. The third one is your settings. So let's go ahead and hit settings and then we're gonna go ahead and depress that down. Now these are all of the machine settings and everything that it's gonna tell you. And you can see right here, it says that it's set to Chinese. Uh, what we're gonna do is select English like that. And now we're in uh, good shape. So we can go back to the main screen and see what we're doing. It's gonna save the data that we change it. You can see prepare, settings, unlock. Let's go back and home the machine again. Uh, you select that and that'll home the machine. I think this is like super awesome. I really do like this already. The fact that it's ready to go. Uh, linear rails, lead screw driven, linear rails on the Y and X axis. Totally awesome. Let's go and add a bit on here. We're going to hook up the computer and let's do a test cut on something and see how it does. 
All right guys, so basically right now, I believe Easel recognized it right off the bat. What I'm gonna do in Easel is I'm gonna create a whole new machine. That way I know it's a 30 by 30. And let's run intro now and we're gonna hit finish. Uh, we're gonna do a quick little project here. I think what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and do my TCC logo. All right, we're not gonna do any special camera trickery or anything like that or screen record. Just go up to the machine. We're gonna go into other and let's go ahead and edit the machine. Uh, we're gonna name this Axis create 3030 so I know what machine I'm working on. Let's go ahead and configure the Z probe. Let's confirm. And then with this Z probe, it's kind of cool. All you have to do is touch it and you like squeeze this. It's kind of spring loaded. And you're going to see it's right in there. We're going to change this right here because it thinks that the Z probe is 14.99, but it's actually 19.62 millimeters. And then come down here and hit save. But you can see right here, the settings are 300 by 300. So, all right, so what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and attach the piece of wood that I have. This is actually hard maple. We're gonna go ahead and crank this logo out on this piece of hard maple. Uh, I really hate using it, but it is just a piece of scrap. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, glued down. Let's go ahead and select that. Uh, this is for four millimeters deep. I don't wanna do four millimeters. Let's just do two millimeters. Let's change this to two millimeters. We're good to go there. And we're gonna come over here to the cut settings. Mm -hmm. Let's change this to manual. We're gonna do one millimeter. We're gonna do 800 millimeters a minute. And then we're gonna do one millimeter. So basically it'll do two passes. And let's go ahead and see how long this is gonna take. Uh, six minutes to do. So it's gonna take two passes, three minutes per pass. It'll take six minutes to engrave my logo. So it's basically gonna make two passes. We're just gonna do a really quick test cut and see how it does. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, tape that piece of wood down and get this thing cut out. Put the Z probe away back in its little spot right up here, which is awesome. We're gonna set that as the new XY0. Turn the spindle on. You can notice it, but it's cutting it in reverse. <laughs> I, I totally messed up the uh, settings. So let's go uh, cancel this cut, flip that piece of wood over and redo this project the right way. All right guys, so this was kind of an easy fix. In Easel, what I did was I changed and I inverted the $2 and $3 code. I went ahead and inverted those. So those needed to be at $3 equals two and $3 equals two. They were equals zero equals zero. You could do a little bit of research online. Basically what that did was now my home position is up at the front left corner where it should be. And I really wasn't paying attention when I was doing this on the setup. You know, I was pretty much watching it do its thing. And I realized, why is it all the way back here? Well, it was inverted. So that's why my image is backwards on this. So just go into your easel settings. I'll show you real quick. All right, if you come over here to the machine and then you go to the machine inspector, you can come over here and these are all your GRBL settings. Oop, we should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and let's move this up one more. All right, good to go there. Let's go ahead and move it and put it back up top. Turn the spindle on, and then we're going to let go ahead and uh, rock and roll.
All right, guys, so that is it. That is the Axis Create 3030 CNC machine. Literally directly out of the box. Takes you about three minutes to set it up. You pull it out, plug in three or four plugs, get it into the controller, and you are ready to rock and roll. Right out of the box, it did have a couple hiccups. Uh, it was in Chinese when the language came for the online control offline controller but i was able to fix that really easy remember it's just the third button down go into settings and then you'll be able to change that back and forth from english to chinese if need be other than that it connected directly to easel with no problem again i already had my driver set up in my laptop you might have to set those up with that usb that comes with the machine the other thing was the settings on the controller were inverted. Now, mind you, that's something that is embedded into the controller GRBL settings. So if it's something you need to change yourself, just remember to go to that $2 and $3 and change that to a number two. It was set to a zero, so it basically reversed everything. Remember, the axis doesn't move this way, the bed moves. So it's a little bit different than the bigger CNC machines where the bed stays in place and the whole unit moves. It's a little bit different with this because the bed actually moves opposed to the machine. This was hard maple and it blasted through that. I needed to do a little bit of touch up. Uh, I probably should have ran you know, two passes on it, done like 1.8 on the first pass and then done two uh, on the second pass. And that would have cleaned it up a lot, but I just wanted to do a quick test and it worked out perfect. But you can see right here, this was the back, that was the inverted. This thing absolutely is awesome. Full linear rails, full lead screw driven, and it comes with the motor already attached, ready to go. This thing is absolutely awesome. Again, you just pull it right out of the box and you're good to go. I will put a link in the description to this machine. So if you're interested in that, go check out the description. I put a bunch of links down there for some bunch of stuff. I'll put a link to Billy's channel again, because he's gonna be doing some projects on the 6060 Axis Create. So we got a bunch of cool videos coming up on the channel. I'm gonna definitely be putting out two videos a week. This should drop tomorrow, which is Thursday and then I have a really awesome video coming out on Sunday so stay tuned make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing I uh, have some really cool stuff coming up for the channel that I really can't wait to show you because things are changing and I'm gonna be doing a lot more YouTube and a lot more personal business stuff uh, because I have more time so stay tuned to that we got a bunch of cool DIY projects and just really cool home upgrades and stuff like that so but again I just want to thank Access Create for uh, bringing this out to me giving me the opportunity to unbox it check it out I was kind of skeptical on on the pulling it directly out of the box and making it work, but it absolutely did. Access Create, you did really awesome on that. Again, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, make sure you get notified of all my newest videos. But until that next video, make sure y'all do one thing, stay awesome, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.